Welcome. Let's take a look at using implicit differentiation to find the y dx for the equation y cubed plus x to the fifth y squared minus x cubed equals 21. Now our general strategy for implicit differentiation is to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides of our equation. So we'll do d dx of y cubed plus x to the fifth y squared minus x cubed equals the derivative with respect to x of the number 21. And now we're going to apply our standard rules for differentiation as we go through this process. So we will want to find the derivative with respect to x of y cubed plus the derivative with respect to x of x to the fifth times y squared. Notice I said times, that means we're going to need to use the product rule for that derivative, minus the derivative with respect to x of x cubed, and that equals the derivative with respect to x of 21. So let's go ahead and find those derivatives. The derivative with respect to x of y cubed, so for y cubed we're going to want to use the, the power rule. So we'll have 3y squared. However, this derivative is with, with respect to x, and we are taking the derivative of y. So by the chain rule, we need to include a factor that incorporates the rate of change or the change in y with respect to x because uh, we were looking at a variable other than x. Plus, now we're going to have to use the product rule for our second term, and that's going to mean we have the derivative with respect to x of the first term times the second term, plus the derivative with respect to x of the second term times the first term, uh, minus the derivative of x cubed by the power rule, that's going to be 3x squared, and then the derivative of 21, which is 0. Uh, continuing, there's still a couple derivatives we need to find, so we have 3y squared dy dx, plus now the derivative of x to the fifth is uh, 5x to the fourth by the power rule times y squared plus we also have this derivative of y squared we need to find and again um, we're taking the derivative with respect to x of y squared so we'll need to incorporate the um, chain rule so this will be 2y times dy dx and then times the x to the fifth that was already there, minus 3x squared equals 0. Now at this point, the strat general strategy is to solve for dy dx. So my first term has dy dx, and my third term has dy dx. So I'm going to keep those on the left side of the equal sign, and we're going to uh, subtract the other two terms over to the right. So in essence, we're going to subtract 5x to the fourth y squared um, to the right-hand side of the equation, and we're going to add 3x squared to the right-hand side of the equation. So at this point, we have 3 we have 3y squared dy dx uh, plus, let's see, that's going to be 2x to the fifth y dy d squared dx equals uh, 3x squared minus 5x to the fourth y squared. Now, 
Keeping in mind, our goal is to solve for dy dx, and it appears in two terms. So what we'll do is we will actually factor that dy dx out, and that will give us um, a single instance of dy dx. So this looks like dy dx, factoring that out, equals 3y squared plus 2x to the fifth times y equals 3x squared minus 5x to the fourth y squared. Now keeping in mind that we're trying to solve for dy dx, at this point we can just simply divide by the quantity 3y squared plus 2x to the fifth y. So 3y squared plus 2x to the fifth y. So we end up with dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 5x to the fourth y squared divided by 3y squared plus 2x to the fifth y as our derivative. I hope this is helpful.